Yeah, typically uh, when you have bolts that are stripped out, you got stripped threads and stuff, a lot of people install like helicoils, right? And I'm going to tell you, I don't recommend these, period. <laughs> but the problem is when you go in an automotive parts store, this is pretty much all of they got. And they do work, but they don't work like um, like a permanent repair, like uh, they're going to last forever. Um, now, if you especially if you're using aluminum and you're you're going into aluminum, uh, most engines today are aluminum. You got aluminum heads, you got aluminum intake uh, manifolds and stuff. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on today. Everything's damn aluminum, and you know the other thing is you got to make sure you put uh, uh, you know anti seize on the bolts too. That's another deal. And let me point out to that what that is because I got some over here that I got for eight million years because it's a big freaking bunch of it. <laughs> but I always use anti seize on everything. But the point is, you notice I've been taking my time on a Sebring. I really feel like working on it much, just doing a little bit here and there. Just got to put the intake manifold on it. And uh, there's no strip bolts on it that I know of because. The guy that repaired this car, or whoever the hell worked on this car, they had a lot of strip bolts on it, and um, they were repaired with Healy coils, and none of them held up. So what you want to do is, you know, maybe this is a blatant endorsement, but it's not a commercial for them because I just, they didn't tell me to do this. It's just from my own research. The place that sells the quality stuff is McBaster Car, and what you want to get is these things. Easy lock. Uh, steel inserts and you can see the red that's on there that red that's a locker that's a Loctite compound and a lot of times um, I'll even put Loctite red on there too that's what I personally did no I wasn't even just relying on this let it dry up for a good so many hours you know because I'm not in a shop where I'm under the gun I got to freaking get it done and stuff so but um what you got to do is you got to carefully tap it out to the next size hole and once you put this steel insert in it it's a hell of a lot stronger than the original aluminum as a matter of fact they should be doing this from the factory but you know the penny pinch and yo-yos on the top to make these cars they never do this kind of crap because even though it probably wouldn't cost much from the factory because they got robots to do this you know they go drit, 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 you know what I mean I mean it freaking take them what another I don't know, a dollar? <laughs> I mean, what's it going to cost him? Maybe 10 bucks on a freaking $30,000 car? For crying out loud. They don't do it. They don't give a shit. But basically, you know, you want to have a full tap and die set. And, you know, with the right... You know, and a lot of times people just get these dies and they try to use a handle that doesn't have the right type of handle. Really, you want to you want to try to use vice grips. <laughs> That can work if you're real careful. What you really want to do is you want to use a tool like this. And, you know, I got a lot of tools, man. You know, a lot of freaking tools, actually. For somebody that doesn't do this for a living, uh, you want to have something like this. Where you put that in there. I've kind of opened it up too big. You put that in there, and it locks it in place. You know, it's got that little wedge that locks on the edge of the square. Then when you turn this, you turn it nice and smooth, go slow, you back it off, you turn it, use some lubricant. Then after you're done, you clean out the hole really good. I use starting fluid to clean out the hole. I mean, and then you install these, these puppies. These things, I think they're junk. Helicoil. I don't like them. I mean, maybe, I know people tell me I'm full, full of it for saying that, but I don't like them. They're not, I do stuff, I make it stronger than the original. This is actually weaker than the aluminum. I don't like them. And I found out when I, a long time ago, when I was taking these things off, there was helicoils installed all over this damn thing. Not only on the intake, it was on a freaking, uh, where you mount the throttle cable, where you mount the EGR pipe, <laughs> all that stuff is all screwed up. And I said, what the hell, how did I break this? And I said, wait a minute, there was a helicoil in here, that's why it broke. Uh, it just, you know, you use it a few times, it doesn't hold up. You want something like this, man. 
So, you know, this, you know, I think this, well, I don't know what's going on with Irwin. I think when I got this, this was made in the USA. I think Irwin's probably now to freaking China, man. But uh, I don't know, man. Actually, to tell you the truth, I got a, I just ordered a Armstrong uh, quarter inch drive set. Pretty good size, size set. I got a lot of quarter inch drive and I, Picked up that Walmart freaking piece of crap because I was missing one. That stupid thing to break left and right. And um, I'm going to tell you where to get the stuff later because I am one person. I'm a cheap guy. Like, I'm not cheap. I buy quality at the lowest prices possible. And uh, pays to do everything right. And there's ways to do things right that are wrong. You get my drift. Uh, I'm pretty good at that, too. <laughs> Because, you know, sometimes you get, you can overdo it doing things right. You'd be the real freaking year. But, uh, just the guys you want to go to, man. If you want to get the right kind of fasteners, you got some weird fasteners you're missing. You want to get tap and dual die sets. You want to get these steel inserts. You don't want to use these damn things. Unless you're in a hurry. They won't last. They'll last for the one time you put them in, but the next time you go to change that part, they might fall apart. It's just how they are.